this is a little unhinged, but you know, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this video, I need to let you know that you almost did not get to see what I'm getting ready to show you, and here's why. I was very jet lagged. It's very real. The lighting is not my favorite. I'm very um, honest and maybe a little rambly. And when I went to edit it, I was like, oh, I don't know, this, this is maybe not my best work. But I'll tell you what, it is very real. This was filmed actually the day after I got back from my river cruise. Everything that I'm showing you actually went with me in my bag. There is one outfit that I don't mention that I took, and obviously that was what I wore on the plane. I wore the same thing coming and going. So I will talk about that at the end of the video, and I'm also gonna go into things I wish I'd known before I started packing for my river cruise. And I'm really glad you're here. Okay, let's get right into it. Be kind, remember, your girl was tired. Asked. I wanted to give you guys a real, no filter, no nothing, actual unpacking of everything that I took on my trip to France. It was a river cruise that was Paris to Normandy, several ports of call. We went to Versailles. We went to some beautiful chateaus. We visited Omaha Beach and the uh, cemetery that is there. Uh, absolutely amazing experience. I will have videos about the trip itself coming soon, but we're going to start here. I didn't do a packing video for this trip because A, I ran out of time, and B, I've been hearing that there is some uh, disingenuousness about packing videos. People filming carry-on only packing videos that 100% did not do carry-on only. So, I thought it would be helpful to actually show you since I just got back. So here's everything that I took. Um, I took my Away Bigger carry-on. This did fit in the overhead, no problems at all. And also my Away Everywhere bag. Now, y'all know I choose different pieces depending on the trip. This is the room where I usually do my packing. So I have kind of my various things in here. Um, for this trip, I chose the Everywhere bag because I was flying economy on both legs while I was in Comfort Plus on the way back. But because of the structure of this bag, it works really great to prop your feet up if you have short legs like I do. So it just, I don't know, it helps with circulation and things like that. So that's why this is usually the bag I take if I'm gonna fly a, you know, a really long haul flight. Um, for frame of reference, the flight out there was about eight and a half hours and the flight back was just shy of nine. Um, so it can be up to 10 something to do with the winds, whatever. Actually very smooth flying both ways, but yeah, I am a little jet lagged today. So if I don't make a lot of sense, that's why. No, we'll be fine. We'll sally forth. Um, I took two jackets for this trip. I took a packable down jacket that was good for a little bit colder weather. And then I took my Burberry trench coat. Now this trench coat um, has served me so well. I absolutely loved it. I loved it because it was actually warmer than I thought thought it would be. Um, and also it just looked really stylish. I wore it in Paris. I wore it on Easter Sunday in this little village we were in. This is the Waterloo Trench for those of you that might be interested. I bought mine in the airport in Italy. <laughs> I just love it so much. Served me yet again incredibly well. Okay, so let's go through the everywhere bag first. This is what went on the airplane with me. I will warn you in advance, it might be a little less organized than when I got there. Here we have my Kindle Paperwhite, which of course I read on the plane, my Anchor external battery, which is such a godsend if you film on your iPhone. Absolutely, you need to have an external battery. And um, a little travel thing of Advil, in case I needed that on the plane. Some tissues. And then um, my passport holder, some contacts, very exciting, and some chapstick. Now, I also had some lip balm in my crossbody bag, um, but that's actually downstairs because we went to drop off a car today, so it's in there. Then in this compartment here, I have my eye mask. When I tell you, 
I should have bled with this. I slept for about six hours on the flight over and about three hours on the flight back. I don't like to sleep on the flight back because it just helps me kind of adjust to the time difference a little better. But this eye mask I've talked about before, it is called Fresh Me Cotton Sleep Mask. And the reason I love it is because it wraps around like this and it's soft. There's no um, elastic, which always bothers me. Love this, this was in there. My neck pillow, which is by a, a brand called Be Cozy, once again, served me great. I will not travel without this neck pillow. What's good is, I don't know if I showed it before, but I had it just attached to the outside so it doesn't actually take up any space in my luggage. Um, I'll show it to you guys so you can see it. I have talked about it in other videos, but I'll go ahead and put it on too so you can kind of see what it looks like. Oops, it goes like this. And then you turn it to like wherever, I'm so tired. Um, you turn it to wherever it is that you're, you know, most likely to lean. So comfortable. I absolutely love this neck pillow. So this was in that bag, some deodorant, so I didn't stink. Um, and some of this was better compartmentalized, but again, this is an unpack with me. So you get what you get. My little um, pill case with my pills in it. My cables, which were in something smaller before, I don't know how that happened. My Bose noise canceling headphones. And then in the case for this, I have also my regular AirPods and then the um, cord that enables me to plug these into the entertainment system on the plane. I actually did a um, masterclass with Amy Poehler on the airplane. It was so good. I have masterclass. But Delta has like the, the first lesson of some of them. So I did the first one and I'm going to finish that class with Amy Poehler for sure because it was about improv and how the principles of improv can apply to our lives. So I thought that was really great. Um, also my palette by Pack. Now they did not ask me to take my liquids out at the Paris airport. When you travel internationally, you should always be prepared to take your liquids out. I had mine in this little Ziploc bag. This was not in here, obviously. This has liquids in it. Didn't have to take it out. Nothing was triggered and it was all fine. If you are like a massive rule follower, this might bother you because it's probably, well, it probably could have fit in there. Um, but all's well that ends well is what I have to say to that. Had no issues going through security, didn't have to take anything out and didn't have to take my shoes off. Um, also in here, I have my Osmo Pocket 3 which I ended up using a little bit, but I still need to get better about using. This is a new camera that I just got um, that I'm not even gonna get into, but I'm still not 100% sure about it. So I played with it a little bit in France. So that went with me. My pajamas are in here and you're like, Jen, why are your pajamas in here? Um, because even though I didn't check a bag, um, I didn't wanna have to worry about carrying this bag off the ship. And so they wanted, um, this out a little bit earlier, not a lot earlier, not like Disney, just like a half hour before the shuttle picked me up and I still had my pajamas on. So that was the first reason. And also they were just in here. I don't know why I put them in here. I just did. Um, my little emergency medicine kit is in here. Alka-Seltzer, Benadryl, Band-Aids, antibacterial stuff, just your normal stuff. Um, a little thing of hand cream. My foldable travel brush, which so many of you guys have asked me about this. I, I can't get you a link because I bought this at a Walgreens in Tucson, Arizona in like 1998. So I love it. It's a great little brush, but um, yeah, sorry. My travel fan, which we've talked about a million times um, from Target. Here she is. Love her so much. Um, and she served me well yet again. And yeah, I think that's it. Dirty clothes, I'm just gonna throw over here on the floor, so there we go. All right, um, opening up this. This was just folded on the top. Um, this is my uh, Le Pliage from Longchamp. I used this almost every day. We had a lot of rain, but it's also good if you're out shopping, if you buy something small, if you buy like something at a bakery or whatever to have a little tote bag. So that went with me. And then we're gonna open up this puppy. I'll insert pictures too of everything that I wore while we talk about this, my sunglasses. And I took for this trip my um, uh, key, I think is how you pronounce them, or K, I can never remember. It's Q-U-A-Y, it's an Australian brand. I love it, they're great sunglasses, not terribly expensive. They're in like the 60-ish dollar range and you can get these at Nordstrom. 
Um, I don't know how my travel hairspray ended up there, but okay, that's fine. Um, and then we have my makeup, which I put in here because I didn't need it. A very minimal makeup for this trip. Literally like this little subtle stack, um, some stuff for my eyebrows, my brow gel, and then my jewelry, which I basically wore the same earrings the entire time, but I did have a couple of other pairs of earrings. So my makeup was in there. See, my trick is I do this on the bed and then it's easier to put away. Um, I ended up putting, I use these little shoe bags. Uh, these are really inexpensive off of Amazon. I guess I ended up putting two shoes in one bag. Is that what happened? Because I ended up with an extra shoe bag. So just so you know what shoes I took, I wore my, I ended up not taking my rain boots. I ended up taking my ultra running sneakers, which um, were on my feet when I flew and they're on my feet right now. And then I took my little Kariumas as fashionable sneakers. You guys know I love these shoes so very much. Brazilian brand, completely sustainable, um, really, really uh, like comfortable and they don't wear out easily and I just love them. So those went, those both could be cleaned up. So I'm gonna put those on the ground. And then I also took for evenings, uh, I took these little black Tory Burch loafers. Um, they were so comfortable. I ended up wearing them to walk around town one night and I was kind of surprised how comfortable they were. So those will go back in my closet, ta-da. And these um, will go in the wash. So there we go, wash on the floor. Um, this is just a little pair of black pants. Basically what I took for this trip was two pairs of black pants, two pairs of jeans. I ended up buying a dress that I'm going to show you in a minute, three sweaters, and then a couple of merino wool t-shirts, um, and, and a white t-shirt. And when I tell you that's it, that's it. That's everything that I took. And it was one of those capsule wardrobe situations where everything basically went with everything else. So these need to be washed. Those are there. This little blue cardigan is from Draper James. I don't think they still sell it. It's merino wool, so it's really comfortable and um, warm. And also it has this really pretty detail. So I wore this a couple of the evenings. I love how I took Lenny's dog here with me all the way to France and then also brought it back. Anyway, um, so this little cardigan, which I'm going to have, probably hand wash that or have it dry cleaned. Some socks um, that didn't get worn, so I can actually put those away. Um, I took a pair of just kind of these, which are just sort of a boyfriend cut, or I guess these are boot cut. Yeah, this pair of boot cut jeans, um, these are from Democracy, um, and I love them because they have like a really comfort waistband. So even though they look cute, they were really comfortable going in the wash. Um, my Tory Burch black bag is what I used in the evenings. Now on the way there, um, I have this stuffed with stuff for right now it's empty, but this was such a perfect evening bag. Um, I'll see, this is from a few years back, but I'll see if I can find on her website um, one that's similar to this. So that needs to get put away. Now this dress, you guys, oh, I bought this at this place. I think it's called Montpree. It is in France. It is like French Target, uh, for lack of a better word. Um, but they have, uh, they sell all kinds of food. I actually bought a little thing of mustard for my son. Um, and this is, this dress, uh, yeah, Monopri, not Monopri, Monopri, um, is viscose and just absolutely adorable. I'll insert a picture of me in it. I'm in love with it. It's so soft and comfortable and flowy. Um, I have a trip with my son coming up to a Disney park. I won't be filming that one, but um, to the Disney parks. And I'm definitely going to be wearing this at Disney because it's perfect weight for summer at Disney. You might think, don't you just wear shorts? No, ma'am. Dresses are the way to go or skirts, in my opinion, at Disney in the summer. These black pants um, I wore multiple times. These are the Essential Wide Leg Pant from J. Crew. These are so great. They are tailored. They are super comfortable. They look elevated, um, but they, they are as easy to put on and as easy to wear as a pair of jeans. Um, I have these in an eight. I don't think these are the petites. No, these are not the petites and they were the right length for me, but always check um, the inseam and make sure you know your own measurements so you know what size you get in that. All right, in this little bag, I have the sweaters that I took. Now, this first one you will have already seen. 
um, in my Lily Silk video, which will have gone up a week before the video you're watching now. Um, this is a little merino wool sweater. I loved this in France. I love this for anything because you could wear this with jeans and a white t-shirt underneath it, or you can wear it a lot more dressed up. I wore it with the black pants. I wore it with jeans. Um, it was just really versatile and I really love it. So um, yeah, I wore this a lot. It was just, I loved it. I love the little gold button detail, super fun. I will definitely link that below. An empty glasses case, no idea where the glasses are. I might've left them in France, but they're just my cheaters, so that's okay. All right, next over here, we have got um, some more liquids. Remember when I said we didn't have to take our liquids out? Well, it's a good thing because I had mine divided out through uh, between two bags. Anyway, all's well that ends well, as we talked about. Um, and in this one, I had, this is probably where I had my cords and things, but like the rest of my contacts are in here. And um, yeah, little hair stuff. Um, I took both of my Amazon silk scarves, which, you know, a, a silk scarf, I would love to have a um, better silk scarf than the ones I get from Amazon. Um, but for now, these work great. They look good. The colors worked really well because it was a trip over Easter. So I wore those a lot. I'm gonna wash that. This is another like total staple piece. Again, you will have seen this in the Lily Silk video. Just this cream um, round neck short sleeved sweater. This is very lightweight and in a good way. It's perfect to layer under other things. It is very sheer. So if you're gonna wear it by itself, I would probably wear like a camisole underneath it. Um, but yeah, this was a great layering piece. Got that. This little blue denim shirt from Vineyard Vines. Is it gross to be showing you my dirty clothes? Maybe, but this way you know that it's accurate. Um, I wore this multiple times. It's great as a layering piece. It was great to keep me warm. I could wear a sweater underneath it. I could wear a sweater on top of it. Um, and it's just a really versatile piece that again, went with everything else. Um, my packable jacket, this one is from Eddie Bauer. It actually folds up into its own little pouch, but for purposes of packing, it made more sense to just kind of shove it in there. When I tell you guys, I will find this particular one they don't make anymore, but they still have one very similar. So surprisingly warm, like kind of shockingly warm. Um, so this was definitely warmer than my Burberry trench coat, but my Burberry trench coat obviously was better for style. So having both worked really, really well. Is it probably time to wash that? Yeah, maybe, let's wash that. Um, a little white t-shirt that is literally Hanes. Um, I realized right before the trip that I needed a white t-shirt to kind of layer under some other things and I didn't have one. So I got this off of Amazon and it was perfect. It's like the perfect weight, really comfortable, great little shirt. My little bucket hat for keeping the sun off my face. This one is from, where are you from little hat? Um, the Wallaroo Hat Company, and it's literally called the Casual Traveler. Um, and this is not only good for keeping sun off your face, but it's also good for keeping rain off your face. So there you go. I took this long shot. I took a lot of bags, especially for doing carry on only. I took this long shot bag as well. Um, this is the Le Pliage uh, Modèle de Posé. Uh, I don't think they carry this one anymore, but the fact that it is leather and it folds, I've talked about this bag a couple of different times. It, it has served me so well over the years and I did treat it with the weatherproofing like leather cream. Um, and I used this in Paris and oh, I just loved it. All right, now these are all my really dirty clothes. Yeah, that whole thing. So this is the dirty clothes bag that comes with the away travel suitcase. So what I did is just hang it in the closet and just was putting dirty clothes in it as we went. And then this is a little cream cashmere sweater by Vince. Um, I think I got this from Nordstrom. Cashmere was like the name of the game for me on this trip because it was that you know, winter into spring weather, a little rainy, a little chilly. And so having the layers was super important. And um, yeah, this sweater served me incredibly well. That needs to be washed. Um, now let's get into a few little things um, that I purchased. Um, what is in here? I think this one is, da, da, da. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Shot glasses. Um, that's, I was like, why does this feel heavy? Oh, my son just went away. 
come back, son, come back. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. These little shot glasses Viking gave me um, because it was my second time sailing with them. It was like a little gift. So I will take those down. Sorry, it got so dark. It was so bright for a minute. And then I bought this little red scarf um, in a little town we were in um, where there was a little um, uh, chateau and it was really beautiful. And it's just cotton, um, but I did really enjoy it. And I actually also got one for my mom, um, but it stayed wrapped up. I got a gift from my sister that I'm not gonna show because my sister watches the channel and it's for her birthday and I don't want her to see it. Um, and this is that other little silk scarf that I took gift from my sister. Um, and then this is the other scarf and this one will be for my mom. She watches the channel too. So sorry, mom. Hopefully you didn't see it very good. Um, I bought this little hat at H and M in Paris, uh, because it was a little drizzly and I don't like it when I get like droplets. I don't care if I get wet when I'm walking around, but I really don't like to get when I'm wearing my glasses, I don't want to get water on my glasses. So this hat served me really well. It was on clearance. I think it was 12 euros and it's super cute. It's got like a little linen feel to it. So H&M for the win there. And then the real scene stealer for me on this trip was these cropped jeans from L.L. Bean. I was really kind of shocked at how much I loved these. I had been looking for a cute pair of cropped jeans for months and I would order them. I would try them on. I felt like they made me look ridiculous. I'm not sure I have the best body for crop jeans. Finally found these and these are in a size eight. I love them. Um, I am going to go ahead and wash them, but they, they were absolutely perfect. I wore them over and over again. Oh wait, I'm not done. I need to show you this. Okay. Another cashmere sweater. Um, this one is by Nottam. Um, if you've never heard of them, really great cashmere brand. Um, I need to take like the little sweater shaver to this one, but it was really soft. I actually wore this on the airplane on the way there. And then I wore it a couple of other times. And oh, this little blue and white striped t-shirt from, uh, where are you from? Marine Layer. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, as you know, I adore Marine Layer and I actually got this for free because I did one of their clean out bags and you pay $20 for the bag. No, is it that you pay? I don't remember how it works with the clean out bag, but I had a credit and I used the credit from the clean out bag to buy this little guy. So yeah, I think you pay $20 for the bag and you get a $40 credit. So basically it's like you recycle and then you get paid $20 to use something on the website or something like that. Um, but yeah, really good quality, really soft. And I wore this at least twice. Um, and then this is just uh, some bras and, and underwear that I actually did not wear, which I am going to go ahead and wash because you know how it is when you travel with stuff. So there are all of my packing cubes. So when I tell you guys, oh, eh, ha, this one's important too. This blue t-shirt is Unbound Merino, Merino wool. I had actually ordered two long sleeve shirts from Unbound Merino. They did not get here in time. But if you're going to be re-wearing, especially like cashmere sweaters and things like that, Merino wool underneath will save your sweaters from smelling or anything even remotely like that. Um, so this shirt I wore like three or four times and it still smells completely fresh. It is the magic of Merino wool. It is the perfect travel fabric for that reason. And um, yeah, I think it is finally time to wash this. You can wear these over and over and over again without washing them. Okay, laundry, I have to put all this stuff away. And that's really it. Okay, so that's everything I packed with the exception of what I wore on the airplane. Um, and what I wore on the airplane was my Air Essentials Wide Lake Pant from Spanx. Any of the Air Essentials line from Spanx is my favorite for flying. I love the jumpsuit. Um, I recently bought the maxi dress. The, the fabric is war on the warmer side, which in my view you want on an airplane regardless of the time of year so super soft, moves with you, absolutely love it. And I also wore a scarf that I did not show in the video, but that you'll see in several of my pictures. And a lot of you saw it on Instagram and have already asked me about it. It is from France. I bought it at one of the chateaus we visited. It's this beautiful linen scarf. 
I don't think I can find it for you. I will look up the brand and see if I can, but you guys, this scarf was so perfect for travel. And I love how nice and big it is, so I could wear it a bunch of different ways. And yeah, this. And what else did I wear on the airplane? Um, another Unbound Merino kind of um, periwinkle blue shirt, and then a blue V-neck cotton cashmere blend sweater. Um, those pieces I used all throughout the week. I don't mention them in the video because I was unpacking. So let's get into things I wish I had known uh, before my river cruise and things I think you really want to be aware of if you are going on a river cruise. Number one, um, Europe can be famously super hot or super cold or super rainy or super in between, just like everywhere right now. So you definitely want to check the weather forecast and that part seems obvious, but also make sure you're checking the weather forecast for all of the various stops. So we were in in, um, the Normandy region of France quite a bit. We were at Omaha Beach, which was an incredible experience. I can't wait to bring you guys more about that when I do my review video, which should go up next week. Um, but the, the weather could vary vastly. So you really do want to be prepared for all different temperatures. Also, a river cruise, at least the way I do it, is very active. So this wardrobe might have looked very different if my entire trip was in Paris. We need to differentiate between a trip to Paris and a trip to France. And on a river cruise, you're going to be doing very different things. Things. You might be hiking, you might be visiting a farm, you might be doing a lot out in the countryside, and the outfits that look beautiful and perfect on the streets of Paris are not going to be appropriate for visiting an organic farm with sheep and Calvados and really beautiful dogs. Anyway, I digress. Just be prepared for the kind of trip that it is. I think a lot of Americans especially think about going to Europe and they only are thinking about the big cities. But if you're doing a river cruise, you're also visiting a lot of smaller towns, maybe doing a lot of active type of things. So you wanna make sure you're prepared for that. This for me was not a fashion forward trip. This was a practical, I wanted to be warm, I wanted to be dry. Of course I wanted to look cute, but this was not a trip where I'm just, you know, popping in and out of taxis and walking into beautiful restaurants. I was gonna be out in the elements, doing excursions, doing all of the things that, uh, you know, most of us want to do when we do a trip like this. So just keep that in mind as you're packing. It's why I took my Burberry trench coat because that was more appropriate in the evenings and in Paris and then also my packable down jacket because that was perfect in the rain for hiking for things like that. Um, it really just depends on how you want to do the trip. I knew that I wanted to feel appropriate and comfortable. This was not a trip where I was going to be taking tons of, you know, dramatic fashion Instagram photos or anything like that. I wanted to feel appropriate and comfortable. And I think most of us traveling, that's what we want. Um, you know, I'm 53. Uh, as Julia Roberts famously said after she got done filming Mona Lisa Smile, you can't out kitten the kittens. And I wasn't trying, but I do want to look like I fit. Um, so river cruising, I think a lot of people have an idea that the evenings are very formal. They're not. There were people definitely that dressed up. Um, I kind of wished I had brought a dress. I didn't bring a dress on this trip. It was totally fine. Um, but you'll also see people in the dining room, at least on um, Viking River Cruise, in jeans. Now check the dress code. Some of the river cruises, you're not allowed to wear jeans in the dining room. Uh, you totally are on Viking. So there were plenty of people in more casual clothes. It also really depends, and this is true of any cruise line, what you've done during the day, right? Because like the day that we went to Normandy, all of us were out there at Omaha Beach adventuring. We were, it was a very emotional day for all of us. Uh, and so no one was really dressing up that evening. But then there were other evenings where we might have wanted to, you know, zhuzh it up a bit. So just go with your own comfort level. But I would say, by and large, kind of the vibe on a river cruise is kind of a business casual with a leaning towards comfortable European tourist type. Everyone's going to know you're a tourist. You're on excursions that have, you know, people holding flags. So don't worry so much about 
fitting in as, as I would if I was traveling to Paris alone and I didn't want to stand out as a tourist, I might be more engaged with that. Um, but also, really quick funny story. Years ago, I did a video about what to wear on a European trip, and I specifically talked about trainers or running shoes and how it would make you look like an American tourist. Let me tell you, everyone in France is wearing trainers and tennis shoes and running shoes. Everyone. They are wearing them with beautiful trousers. They are wearing them with jeans. They are wearing them. It, it is It is no longer a thing. I kind of knew that. Like the last couple trips I've been on, I haven't really been concerned with it, but that's old school advice. You will absolutely see trainers and tennis shoes being worn in France. Go with what will be comfortable. On a river cruise, you're going to be walking a lot. You're going to be on and off of buses if you're doing a lot of excursions. You're going to be hiking up these, you know, steps to go to chateaus and things like that if you're me. Um, so you really just want to have a good time and you want to feel appropriate. So yeah, these are the outfits I took. I feel great about my choices. I do wish I had taken one dress, which I ended up buying that one green dress so that fit the bill for that because you can always shop for what you didn't take. And I hope you guys found this helpful and practical. Um, again, it's real life. Yes, I was jet lagged. Yes, I was a little tired, but also this is actually what I packed for my trip. And now that I'm back, it is all, everything is clean and folded. I have it here on the bed because I was kind of thinking I would, sh I don't know what I was thinking. This is a little unhinged, but you know, welcome to my channel. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed already, I really, really wish you would. We are making the slow climb to 50,000 subscribers. Nothing really happens when I make 50,000 subscribers. You guys are so faithful and wonderful, and it, it, the community we have here is so precious to me. But if you watch regularly and you're not subscribed, if you would do that, it would mean the world to me. It's free, and it's a great way to tell YouTube that you like the content that I'm making. Next week, we will be doing a full review of my river cruise, what I liked, a couple of things I didn't like, and most importantly, a few things I will do differently next time. I'm so glad you were here today. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy and happy travels. Bye!